Okay, so this is the same question that we did before. Now we're just going to use the Wilcoxon signed rank test. So be careful that this Wilcoxon signed rank test, it's not the same as the Wilcoxon Man Whitney <coughs> test that we previously discussed. This is a different test. It's based off of the signed ranks. Okay, so um, first step in all hypothesis testing is to come up with your null and alternative. And they don't change here. They're the same as they were um, for the previous two videos for the sign test and for the t paired t-test. So I just have them here. Um, the null is that the average depression rating is not affected by the active drug. And the alternative would be that the depression rating is affected. Um, or that it's actually not just is affected, but actually is, is higher. So it's a directional test. Okay. So... Um, Second step is to calculate your test statistic. In this case, we have um, this WS, the Wilcoxon test statistic, and that's going to be the max um, between W plus and W minus. Okay, so we need to calculate what are the what is W plus and what is W minus. So I'm going to paste a chart here. Um, what we have here is, so this is the same chart as the one above, same data. I calculated the difference, okay? So this is actually the absolute value of the difference. So it doesn't matter what the sign is. I just calculate the absolute value of the difference. Deleted the sign, basically. And I wrote the sign over here, the sign of the difference. Okay, and now I need to add, um, insert another column. And this one is going to be the sign signed rank. So first when you're doing the signed rank, first just come up with what the rank is. So we need to go through and we're going to rank these differences by, um, from smallest to largest. So 1.5, that's the smallest. Uh, 2.1 is the second um, smallest. And let's see, then we get to this 4.9 and 4.9, so that's a tie. Um, and the Wilcoxon um, signed rank test, what you do with ties is you average whatever two ranks they would have been. So it would have been maybe three and four, right? Well, so we average three and four, we get 3.5 and 3.5. Okay, now, now we're up to five, remember, because that used both uh, ranks three and four. So the next one's going to be five. So we look for the next largest, that's five. And then here's uh, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so that's the rank, um, but the name of this column is signed rank. So we go ahead and we take the sign that's in the sign difference column and we just add that here. So that's plus, minus. Okay, so add all of those um, signs to make it a signed rank. All right, so now we're ready to calculate what is W plus and what is W minus. So W plus is the sum of all of the positive ranks. Okay, so that would be 3.5 plus 2 plus 7 um, plus 8 plus 5. And that's 25.5. Then we go and we calculate this, the sum of all of the negative ranks. That's what W minus is. So that'll be, so when you're summing up all the negative ranks, you don't take the negative sign with you. You just start with, um, you know, the, just the number, the, just the sum of the ranks that are, that are negative. So this will be 1. Okay, then there's this negative rank, 3.5. And there's a negative rank of 6. So that's 10.5. So the larger of those two will be what the WS is, what the test statistic is for the Wilcoxon signed rank test. So 25.5 is larger than 10, so that's the um, test statistic. So now we're ready to go ahead and look at our, um, our table for the Wilcoxon signed rank test. Okay, so here's the table for the Wilcoxon signed rank test. Um, you know, as I've said before, I think it's really important to read this top portion here. Uh, it tells us that the bold number is the WS value, and the corresponding P-values are the italic numbers. Um, 
the, the, the italics, the p-values, are for the non-directional test. And um, so it tells us that the p-values for the directional test are going to be found by dividing the, um, num the italic number in half. So we have a directional test, so we're definitely going to be dividing our number in half. So first thing we go and so this n this is the number of differences. So we go to our um, row that's for us for for our our uh, data set and in our case n um, is eight. So this is going to be our row number of differences is eight. Our observed ws value was twenty five point five. So um, you know larger test statistics for the Wilcoxon signed rank test. Are um, are better, so smaller um, are are worse. Less evidence that the um, null hypothesis isn't true. Okay, so our p value, whatever it is, it's going to be greater than this value here um, divided by two, greater than 0.195 divided by two. So I go back to where we were writing. It's going to be greater than 0 0.195 divided by 2. P value is going to be greater than 0 0.195 divided by 2. So 0 0.195 divided by 2 equals 0 0.975. Uh, so now we're ready to go ahead and make our decision based off of whatever our alpha was defined to be. So our alpha is 0 0.05. So um, the p-value is greater than 0 0.05, greater than alpha. So therefore, we are going to fail to reject the null hypothesis. So which means that we don't have enough evidence to suggest that the active drug is improving the depression rating. Okay, so we do not have evidence to support that the active drug improves the depression rating.